Greetings, I am Cross Knights, and this is Let's Play Rebuild 2, Part 4. In the last episode, I learned about idle citizens, and it's good to know that if I hadn't learned about it on screen, I would have been taught by, like, well, five people told me about it during the video where I learned it, which, uh, whatever, I understand. It was like a half an hour long video. I understand not everyone's going to watch the entire thing before commenting, but probably going to have to put an annotation on there so that people in the following months don't tell me. Um, but yeah, that was what that was about. We finally collected enough, uh, enough places to win the game if we were able to find where the, the, uh, like the White House is. Oh, look, here it is over here. City Hall! <laughs> if I capture that, I can win the game. Of course, if I capture this, I can also win the game. But one thing at a time, we've pretty much stabilized. Now that I know about the Idle Citizens, I probably won't lose as many people in attacks, so that's good. Let's go and reclaim a few places. Alright, number one. And... So basically, the only reason to put people on guard duty is so that you don't forget to have people guarding your fort. But I don't believe they actually impart any additional defense over someone who's just idle and automatically guards. Taco? Your nickname is Taco? You're Peter the Taco Hogan, really? <laughs> Alright, I'd kind of like to blur the story behind that nickname, but whatever. We're running a bit low on food, but it's not a huge issue right now. This place has lots of food. Let's send you two. Oh. Well, despite the fact that you're a master builder, I would love to get 20 food, please. 34% attack? We should be fine. Oh, there is a horde over here, though. <laughs> Let's, uh, scout right next to it, because I still need to get a sample for Dr. Baskanovich or whatever the hell his name is. Go! Oh, jeez. How's it gonna pan out? The fort held. Excellent. There was a one in three chance that was gonna go really badly. Someone was injured, however. Okay. We need a city hall. Should we look for the city hall? Oh, look, it's the city hall. So if I capture that... Oh, I need to... What, what were you doing? Oh, he was the scientist. That's not good. So the scientist was taken out. Ooh, a wrench. That's excellent. Um, there's, there's something I need to, um, fix. And no one, no one's, uh... No one appears to have noticed this. I was actually thinking about leaving it, but I, I'm gonna change it. And the only reason I noticed the thumbnail for my first video was uh, a picture of this, and I was like, up, down? I meant to put an uptown. And I was thinking about leaving it up, down, because I don't know. Maybe there'll be a rebuild three, and then I could have up, down. So it'll be downtown, up, down, and then up, down. But no, let's change that. That was a mistake. <laughs> It happens, especially when you have dyslexia. The brain is a weird thing, though. We tend to read the way things are supposed to be as, the way, as opposed to how they actually are. So it makes a lot of sense that no one would have noticed that I did that. But let's see. Where people noticed and they were too polite to say. I don't know. If I ever make a spelling mistake in one of my videos, though, in, like, the title or something, please do tell me. Because uh, there's chances I'll never notice. We'll recruit two survivors, despite the fact that we're a little bit lacking in food. Let's give... Let's find one of my builders. One of my builders. Who's the suckiest builder? Well, apparently the everyman is the suckiest builder. Even though he's not technically, like, just a builder. But let's give him the wrench anyway. Somehow, business suit and wrench doesn't really work. But we're doing it anyway. Because we're crazy like that. Alright, only 8% attack. That's cool. Can we storm this place without leaving the base super vulnerable? Uh, I mean, I could attack it like this, but I really would rather just do it in one go. And I, I'm... The next few days I'm gonna do it, though, because I need to start the series of events that happens when you start capturing that place as soon as possible. Um... I think I should capture this corner, just so that I don't have to worry about this side of the map anymore. So, kill, 
kill switch. Actually, should I send someone... Someone should be researching zombie vitals, even if they're not a scientist. Actually, when I recruit those new guys, maybe they can do it. Because I don't want to waste people that are actually good at doing other things doing it. So... Looks like we didn't get any research from that zombie horde. I'm going to have to do that again. Let's see. I'm going to clear out this place. Fourteen zombies here, man. That should do it right there, though. Ah, Pacifist Griffin's on the firing line again. That's good. Let's do scouting. Scouting. And scouting. 18% danger to fort. I can deal. Last Judgment Gang. Alright, there's apparently someone who escaped from the Last Judgment Gang and wants me to help out and give her some food and she'll tell me her story. So, apparently she escaped. There's a sadistic Father Cain who treats all the women as slaves and she escapes. And she's not going to live with us. She's going to live out on her own. I think she should stay with us, but... Maybe she doesn't trust large groups of people, kind of understandable. Ooh, she looks like she's a scientist. You came at just the perfect time, Doctor. Hopefully you got your doctorate in zombie killing. Ah, sweet. Let's put her, I'm gonna put her on too, even though it's not to decrease it, just in case like one of them gets sick. Then the research will keep on going. And if you start research and something happens, unlike the, I believe in the first game, you had to start all the way from the beginning, but in this you, you keep research that you had gained previously later on. So what the hell is the, is the man free again? The man is free again. Can we do this? 70... Wow, all these guys are builders now. I need some soldiers. All right, I, again, I'm not going to... Uh, it's just too much resources, so... Minus seven food per day, that's not good. Any any farms? I'm not seeing any. So, I'm actually going to take the suburb here and convert it into a farm, I believe. Yes, two days is the minimum you can get for that action. So, we'll lose a little bit of living space and gain a little bit of food, but we have ample living space right now. And because I'll have that extra farm to replace it, let's recruit this guy. We'll send a gun with him. We'll send Lewis Jackson. I need to kill a whole bunch of zombies and reclaim a whole bunch of areas. We'll take out this church also. Um, 14%, that's a bit rough, but I think we can do that. And the rest will stay on guard duty, I think. Yeah, that looks good. Our happiness is actually down to 50, and that, that's okay. Um, let's have one more guy. No. Let's not have the builder kill a bunch of zombies in an unscouted area. We'll have you scout. 20%? That's hopefully okay. And we have a level 10 builder. Mo. Mo the builder is now a level 10 builder. Zombies killed. Recruitment success. Alright. How many people are here? One? Alright. But there's lots of food. Send a little scavenging trip here. You and you. And you. No. Yes, you. 50% chance of getting equipment. And insta-reclaim you. Bam. Where's Mo the Builder? He must be building something. He's probably building my farm. Um... Take you out. Just taking out places that are close to my base so that they can be instantly assimilated. Ah, the duo team of the man and Miss White once again. 21% danger to forge. It's not that cool, but what are you going to do? Yeah, so that's going to be captured. That'll be captured soon. Is there any place where I can build defense? Build defenses. In two days. 23% danger to fort, not too bad. OK. 
Okay. Volunteer leader? Oh, jeez. Well, it looks like the Church of the Chosen is getting more, uh... More support. Let's see, scavenge for supplies. Alright, 18 food, that should keep us going. Laboratory reclaimed. Yeah, a lot of people are posting the results of doing different paths in the comments, and that's totally fine, it's just... If you don't want to read that stuff, be warned not to read the, uh, the comments in some of the earlier videos. Though, I'm assuming anyone who's watched this far has probably played the game themselves at this point. Though that's hard to say for sure. Zombie vitals will be research, sir. And putting you on... Oh, you just... You look like Dexter. Except you have slightly darker skin, but... Should I make you Dexter the... Who's another great... Great scientist? Who's that guy that said Pluto wasn't a planet? I'm gonna look him up, because whatever that guy's name is... Uh, that's what I'll name him, but that'll be next episode. I'm not gonna do research in the middle. Let's see. But he's cool. He's on, like, television shows a lot, just saying, like, cool science-y stuff. Uh, he's like a next-generation Carl Sagan, kind of. Maybe that's overstating him, but he's a cool guy. Killing zombies here. Let's do it. You are... Wait, you're... Who is who? Okay, you guys look like exactly the same to me. So we'll kill tons of zombies there. And we can reclaim this place instantly. With Strawberry Powell and Moses Cullahan. Who was the brother of Edward Cullahan, I'm assuming. I'm just assuming. Two survivors, minus six food per day. But we no longer have enough living space because I turned a living place into a farm, which I still support doing. So let's kill zombies here, then. Pacifist Griffin with his patented baseball bat. And you? That's a... Eh, that's a bit much. An epic fire will chastise me for taking risks with my citizens. But hey. As I said, fortune favors the bold. Let's see. Scavenge for supplies. You know what? Never mind. I'll just leave. I'll leave you guys idling. Maybe have one more person scout here. Cool. Um. Are we doing enough? What are we doing? We're killing. We're building here, and we're killing there, and we're killing there. Can't we kill somewhere else? All that I'm saying is give killing a chance. No, that's not worth it. <laughs> to kill that many zombies, that's really not worth it. Yeah, level 10 soldier. Excellent. Who is that? Eric Kelly. He's been my badass soldier from the beginning. So now we can actually... Each person can, can now kill more zombies. Because we figured out that, um... That's interesting. I actually remember getting a different research message that says something about shooting them in the stomach. Because apparently there's a place that if you shoot them in the stomach, they kind of explode. Because they're eating all this flesh, but they can't really digest it. We did that. Plus 15 defense. That's excellent. Church reclaimed. Very cool. So my happiness is going up again. It started to go down pretty rapidly once I was failing all those attacks because I didn't know about the idle thing. I was basically in the zombie apocalypse, like, getting constantly assaulted and just leaving my <laughs> base unguarded by anyone, which is never good. Ooh, almost. Almost. Oh, come on. Oh, come on! We need- we need 100%. We need 100%. There it is. Okay. That's a lot of people, and actually, let's switch out to the builder. Yeah. Because I'm gonna have those scientists do something else. Um, I might actually say- like, I, I was gonna be really gun ho about this and not use any save states, and I, you know, so far I've been pretty good about that, but... Uh, when I'm doing something crazy like this, I do kinda need assurance. So I'm probably going to save, and if it if I suffer, like, huge losses to an attack, I'm probably going to reload. Sorry. Um, I mean, that's what the save state is for, so whatever. Uh, researching this will improve my chances of getting people to join us. So that works. Actually, I know what I can do. Let me... Do we have any... Yeah, we have some awesome soldiers on guard duty. Instead, let's take them off. Put the scavenger on. 
Um, cancel mission. Now we'll have just, like, soldiers going instead of, uh, people who have no business being there. That's much better, actually. Yeah, that's much better. Then I have all of these people free. Okay, cool. So in two days, this place will be clear, right? I, I read that, yes. More so than clear. Yeah, we need everyone. Everyone! And researching zombie vitals makes that a lot easier to kill everybody. So let's save. Kabam. Alright, so if we don't suffer extreme losses in two days, then I will won't need to reload or anything. And we can do this all nice and clean. So these two places need to be scouted. Someone asked if I noticed my soldiers getting build stat abilities by scouting. I have not noticed this, but if you've noticed it in my video, or um, or if I notice it, I'll, I'll say, but I have not noticed that as of yet, no. Any other green places? No. Let's do this. No attack. The rifts. Excellent. They're superheroes, or ninjas. And they just killed 51 zombies. Now, the rifts, I realized this. I'm pretty sure the rifts are from the movie The Warriors, which is a pretty cool movie and an excellent video game by Rockstar, the same guy who made the, um, the same people who made the GTA uh, video games. And the rifts were like this completely badass gang in there. They were the most badass gang in the movie. And there was like 200 gangs here, so it's saying something that they were the most badass. And they're in this video game, which is really cool. I'm pretty sure it's the same guys. Considering how bad hosts they are, it's got to be the same guys. So the man is busy. Eric Kelly actually somehow has leadership skills. I'm not exactly sure when he acquired those, but... If we send him and... That's, that's not enough. That's not enough to waste a turn. So instead, we'll have Eric Kelly do what he's really good at and kill people. There, that should that should clear that out. Then I can actually cordon this place off, and uh, we'll be able to take this entire section. Once I get that mega farm, actually, I'll be able to pretty much negate the food that we use up each day. Scavenge for supplies, maybe. Ten food, that's pretty good. Let's do it. You'll be fine. You'll be fine, uh, Angel. <laughs> Hopefully you won't be joining the Angel soon, though. You'll, you'll be fine, I have faith. And we have builders. Any place that need defenses. Alright, I've checked all of my, um, my malls and stuff, and no, there are no places that need defenses build up. So, cool. We've already captured, like, six more buildings. That's excellent. And we've kept the zombie numbers somewhat under control. Actually gonna do a bit more scouting. Oh, there's a, there's a corner over here, too, that I could completely take. Every single time I send one out, the chance of us being attacked goes up by 1%. But only 1%. Now oh, that went up 2%. We'll leave you then, Mo. Protect the town. Cool, nothing happened. Zombie horde coming. Excellent. We killed 100 Zeds in the... Why do they say Zed and not Zeds? I don't know. I guess in the Rebuild universe, the plural of Zed is Zed. Like deer. You don't say deers. So, excellent. We have the heliport. Maybe we can fly the hell out of here. We shall find out in... one day. So it's good not to have that 100 zombies really close to my town. That was always a little bit nerve-wracking. Um, I'm gonna take out this, just because I don't like the fact that there's a big line of red there. 12%. Can we send anyone to bolster this a little bit? Yeah, there we are. And... Miss... I don't know where Miss White is. She didn't die or anything, did she? Where are you, Miss White? What hearth happened to you? Miss White is killing zombies already. I guess I, I guess I sent her in that first volley. Okay. So the man and Miss White will split up for a bit. There have actually been rumors about Miss White and the man, but no, they're not an item. They're just, you know, both badass leaders slash killing machines. That's all there is to it, so they go on... They work well together. Uh... That, that'll work. How is Strawberry Powell becoming... Well, she's a really good builder. I shouldn't be sending her on such craziness. You know what, Taco? I think we should probably have another dedicated soldier guarding, so... Yeah. 
Guard us well, Taco. Guard us well. And we'll have you killing zombies. Actually, you know what? The man, sh the man should really recruit those two survivors, actually. Oh, but we're killing zombies here. It's all coming back to me. It's all coming back to me. One survivor. Two survivors. Shazam! Alright, let's do this. Church claimed. So we have 70 happiness. I like it. I ri it's, I'm just surprised that I haven't had to worry about happiness at all since I started. And it's all because I was doing so well at the beginning. Like, the zombie attacks weren't piling up yet. People are celebrating. Son of a... That's not good. It's not good at all. So I can't get anyone to do anything, apparently. Alright, so I guess... <laughs> I guess since I can't get anyone to do anything, end the next day. Horde approaches. Illness cured. Sabotage at the heliport! Someone set fire to the fuel tank, and the explosion almost took out the entire heliport. So now we're gonna have to rebuild the damn thing before we can use it. So that's not cool. Recruitment success, that's very cool. Negative eight food per day, that's very not cool. Um... Yeah, you guys really shouldn't celebrate yet. That that's just not that's not the way to go. I'm going to need food very soon, so we need to make uh, epic haste in taking this corner over here, so that I can get this mega farm. Will that work? That'll work. The man and Strawberry Powell, who, as I said, is the daughter of Colin Powell and Strawberry Shortcake, the cartoon character. I get to decide these backstories, damn it, no matter how ridiculous they are. And... Let's see, if I send you to scout here... And you to scout here... And you to scout here... Maybe, just maybe, I can get the information for the crazy doctor, because I need to scout by a horde. So we'll do that. This place will be pretty much cleared out very soon. Anything we can build. Anything. Um, yes, there is. There's a there's a crappy building over here. Let's replace you with an apartment. And the zombie percent's getting pretty high, so I'm going to end it. An attack. Attack has happened at long last. How will it go down? Look at all those people we have guarding. There's no way you can get past us. We smoked them this time. Wow, that's a lot of zombies. All oh, mans. Oh no, Taco! Taco, I guess you weren't ready for the guard duty life. Uh, Gestov the Crater. Ooh! He can trade us either a, a part for the helicopter or a cure for zombieism. You know what? I don't think you have a damn cure for zombieism. Yeah, let's get a part for uh, the helipad. Spoiler alert, the cure for zombieism might be syrup. So, wait, did I say, did he say anything about this? Did we get the re did we get the secret research vital thing? I don't, I don't know. I'm not sure. Oh well, I'll watch the video. If I didn't get it, I'll I'll just keep on sending scouts by hordes. I remember the first time I sent the scout to the horde, like when I first played this game, I did it I did it right the first time. I got the research. Okay. So, very soon... Oh, we need to send someone scavenging for food. We're running too low on food. Is there any place with tons of food? This place still has lots of food. I guess I never searched it. Excellent. 18? That'll keep us busy for about 2.8 days. <laughs> Approximately 2.8 days. And really, approximately, I'm not that good at math. Let's see. Can we do some more killing? We can indeed. You can kill them yourself, Miss White. Badass of uncomfortable skill. Uncomfortable. Two days instead of one day, that's unfortunate, but that's the way it has to be. Is there any place that's not red that Mr. Griffin can take out? This place is red, but can he take it out? 30%? No way. 
21%. I think he can do it. I think Griffin can do it. Oh, God. Uh, okay, we're good. Excellent. Now, researching zombie vitals, I believe, does make it so that you can kill people in the attacks more effectively, too. So we've researched signaling. It's now going to be easier to recruit people. So that's very good. All right, apartment built. Suburbs reclaimed. Supplies scavenged. That'll keep us going for a few more days. Any farms around us? I don't think so. Any other junk buildings that can be turned into farms? I'm not seeing any. I'd have to convert more living space, which I could do, and maybe I should. Or I could capture that McDonald's and we can just eat there. We can eat fresh or something. No, that's Subway. <laughs> Eat fresh is not a term that's generally applied to McDonald's, I don't think. So 8%... Oh, look at all the places I can reclaim. I love it. I love it! Um, what next? We've done some rapid expanding. I've actually... There's like this kind of hump that you have to get over. There's a, there's a point where things are really hard... And if you get over that point, you kind of won, because suddenly you have a strong, stable base of which to lay siege to zombies at. So I should probably... Where should I kill? I'm gonna... I should con continue the frontline assault on this place, I think. And we're gonna need to send a bunch of people to deal with this. And the man will personally storm the McDoodles? That's a little bit much, I think. I don't know if I should put the man at risk for that. Yeah. And there's no food there. We kind of raided the crap out of there. There's no food here. We raided the crap out of this. I guess I'm just going to wait a little bit. Also, when I said that one hospital services the entire town, it doesn't. It depends on where the person is injured, and there's a certain radius. And if there's a hospital, they go to the hospital instead of being uh, injured at, like, a house or something. So it is good to have a, a wide spread of hospitals, unlike the first game where one hospital really did service the entire town and the only thing that the hospitals did was stop the random disease events. Well, we, we're kind of strapped for space, but I'm going to recruit you anyway. By the way, the man has become a very efficient zombie killer. He's up to eight in zombie killing stat, so that's cool. Oh, there's a farm right there. Let's scout that farm. Let us scout that farm. Oh jeez, what are you what are you saying here? Okay, to the person who's who's like kind of on the fence as to whether the Church of the Chosen is talking about zombies or talking about people, the survivors, uh, I think this proves right here that they're definitely talking about the zombies. His point made sense because he thought that it was kind of survival of the fittest that the Church was about um, the fact that man is being tested, and oh jeez. Dude, I'm sorry for sending you there by yourself. I thought you could handle it, but... You did handle not being killed, so that's impressive. That's very impressive. <laughs> but I, I am sorry, Griffin. I probably put too much on you. And excellent, we can get the Mega Farm tomorrow. And tomorrow's only one day away. So I've been told. Little Orphan Annie actually taught me that. And... Bam. There was... There's a Little Orphan Annie video that I watched way too many times as a kid. It was mainly my sister, but... You know, I was there. Let's see. Um, that's a 7, not a 9, right? I think so. The man and Taco shall recruit those two survivors, and then we shall kill the zombies and get the farm. Another mega farm! Badass! Baba... Baba Bula? Baba Bula? I love it. Are you serious? You have no skill? Dude. <laughs> I'm sorry. You need some skill in something. How about we make you a scavenger? Sure. And how about we send our other scavengers with you to go to school so you're not lonely? And science. This would be a really good thing to research pesticides. Let's do it. We have a severe lack of scientists, don't we? Okay. A warehouse. Um, there's nothing I really need. There's another laboratory. I could research two things if I had more scientists. 
Oh, well, I'll forget it. Forget it for now. That's risky. We'll, we'll keep them home for a little bit. Okay, end day. Level 10 leader. The man is so skilled, he could lead a horse to water and make it drink. That doesn't... That doesn't sound that impressive, but I'm sure he could do amazing other things, too. Like sew himself together after being killed as a... Whatever. You know the legend. Big farm acquired. We're now only losing five food a day. Which is much better. Recruitment success? Of course the man was able to let them join. That is an epic mustache that one man has, also. Reclaim area. In one day. Um... Yes, in one day. And again, we're having a... We, we need more farms. We need this farm. We need this farm here, exactly. Ha <laughs> ha! I'm not even gonna scout the area. I know there's not 80 zombies there. For that, I am sure. Um, the man and... Richard Hernandez. And Taco. We shall go and raid this place. 17% damage to fort. That's not bad at all. Let's scout. And scout. Oh, look! A school! <laughs> it's the town's only school. Look how far. I started, like, here. I would have had to go all the way here to get to find a school, as opposed to building one. Scout. And scout. And scout. There's a skill, Stealth, that lets you, like, scout without danger, but I don't really get that skill. Oh, look, another skill. That's probably been in view for longer, hasn't it? But, um, since there's no danger scouting, I, I don't understand the purpose of it, but... What a oh, jeez. What happened? They broke through. Oh, God. Okay. No one was killed, though. So we're good. I'm gonna let that stand. Men hunt for the saboteur. People are crying about the destruction, and we don't know of any proof, but we think this guy did it. He's acting strange. Should we round these guys up and get them to tell the truth out of him? I don't really... I don't know. Meta-knowledge. Meta-knowledge says that I don't want to kill my one scientist, because I believe they always die if you do that. Mission cancelled. Wait, what happened to her? Oh, she was killed. She was injured in the attack. Okay. Training complete. So now we have better uh, scavengers. That's always good. Survivors scouted. Church. Okay. That'll be taken out in one day. Let's take this church. There's just this uh, random church just in the middle of our town that we haven't reclaimed. It almost seems like you should automatically get anything that's in your little area. But just like how you don't automatically get um, scouts and whatnot, or you don't automatically get citizens when you claim the area, I understand why they didn't make it so that you automatically get anything encompassed in your area. Okay. Um, we've almost... I don't know, we've made a lot of progress this video. I, I was getting worried because we just weren't making a lot of progress in some of the other videos. So we're going to need to reclaim this and probably build up the defenses again, too, but... No one died, that's the important thing. 10%. If there's a 10% chance of uh, them dying, they'll definitely be okay. Unless you're playing Die Tonight, and on the fourth day you're freaking camping out, and there's only a 10% chance that you're going to die, and then you die. Then you're not with your meta members for, like, two weeks, and it's really sad. <laughs> That's neither here nor there. Alright, that's a pretty good uh, chance of getting equipment, even though there's only eight food, so let's do that. Though I should really find a place that has lots of food, shouldn't I? No food, no food. Wow, we've, like, picked this place clean, haven't we? Is there, like, a... There's gotta be, like, a fast food place I haven't gone to yet. Okay, long story short, I checked, like, pretty much all the buildings, and not so much. <laughs> not so much. So, damn. Okay. Let us... 20% of zombie attack being bad. All of our soldiers are out. I don't think there's anything to build. Let's do this. Zombie horde sighted! 
We're going to be sending our scouts there. Anti-zombie science. Thanks to our research in zombie vitals, we killed a few zombies. Excellent. Now I know there's lots of food there. Yes, shotgun. Shotgun. I call shotgun. Well, the man would have shotgun, but uh, he doesn't want to get rid of his awesome hat. Cowboy hats are cool. Who's a... Uh, who have I been using for soldier and taco? The taco? All right. Clearly, guard duty wasn't your thing, but now you're a badass zombie slayer, even though you're not doing guard duty. So there's lots of food here. There's two survivors, and there's lots of food here. I'm gonna scavenge both of these places before I reclaim them. I think. Yeah, we'll get 18 food by scavenging here. And. 18 food by scavenging hair. And a 50% chance of finding something cool. And then there's two survivors here. Let's recruit them. The man and Miss White. Actually, Miss White is so badass at killing zombies, I don't think she can go with the man for recruiting missions anymore. Actually, the man doesn't need anyone, any leadership help. He can just do it himself. So he just needs a gun. He shall go with Richard Hernandez. I said that with, like, a really weird accent, didn't I? <laughs> that, was, that was the Stewie Griffin accent. Oh, yes. Um, scouting around the zombie horde. Can I actually go to the zombie horde? I cannot. Okay. And... Miss White, you could probably recruit them yourself, couldn't you? Let's add a gun. Cool. The hired gun. Let's do this. Fabulous farms! Okay, so the last Judgment Gang was not able to raid us for food because we have too many people on guard duty. So they just ran... Yes, I did it! Horde research. We collected data for Dr. Boskonovich. Oh my god, can I change the doctor's name? I wonder if I can change his name. Sweet! Toolbox. And a hunting rifle! Good job, men! And women... Uh, we found a... Uh, we met a scientist at the laboratory. Cool. Um... <laughs> yeah... My brain... I, I was gonna do something important, and then my brain stopped. I don't know what it was. Oh, well. Is there a low-level builder that needs a... toolbox? And... a medium-level hunter that needs a rifle. I'm probably using you for attacking a lot of... Oh, you already have a rifle. Um, Pacifist Griffin has a baseball bat. You. You could use a rifle. Yeah, I'll keep you in the base, in fact. Um, I want to keep going. I really do. But, um, I think I'm... Yeah, I'm, o I'm way... O wow, I'm way over time. All right. Um, you know what? Yeah, that's it. On the next episode, we'll go even further. Probably kick major ass because the turning point has happened. I'm Cross Knight. Sorry for going long, and I'll see you next time.